Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have the US dime or 10 cent piece from 1977. And as you can see, it's a Roosevelt dime. He's facing to the left. Uh, it says Liberty. It says in God we trust. It says 1977. And then down here at the uh, bottom of the neck, there is are some initials. And when we blow it up, you'll see it's a J and an S for John Sinek, S-I-N-N-O-C-K, who designed this dime uh, and back when it was a silver dime. This dime, after 1965, however, was no longer silver. And this dime was, is, has, is presently made. It's made from 1965 till now, with two, 2019. It is a copper nickel clad copper and you can tell that by just pushing it up on the side and looking and you can see the copper underneath and you can see the nickel cladding over the top and if you can't see it on the edge you can certainly see it here and the nickel is a kind of a silverish if we turn it over we see it has a standard back it says united states of america one dime and down here across the middle it says e pluribus unum right there and there's a dot here dot here uh, and nowhere on this coin anywhere does it say one uh, ten cents or any cents on here so what are we looking at today well we've got three of the 1977s and uh, the second thing I want to do is look at the initials here and you can see them very clearly there's a J in an S there this is 1977. You notice these 1977 dimes are placed pretty tight here, where frequently you'll see with the wear um, this W going right off the edge. And in some cases it goes off the edge not because um, it was placed too tightly, but because the edge moves a little bit. If you look at these two coins here, you can see that this one has a slight split in the edge as it as if it kind of split a little bit and this one really has a doubled edge on it so see the difference between those coins there and there and if I take the other one and put it right on on top you see that this coin here clearly has a doubled edge and it's kind of slight it only goes from about here to um, somewhere down in here so you can see it kind of doubles all the way up through but that is uh, essentially a stamping or mint printing error or mistake and many coin aficionados or coin collectors don't consider this to be an error coin in the sense that it um, has a high value they just consider it to be a stamping or minting mistake and so this is not one that you're going to get a whole lot of money for uh, but it's kind of an interesting coin nonetheless and so let's blow it up uh, as much as we can right there and we'll center it and you'll see that um, what what has happened here is that the top of the coin or the sheathing kind of doesn't come all the way out to the edge and that's um, we see it here but then we don't see it all the way here so it kind of doubles up on the side there and that's something that occurs with um, some frequency with these coins and so I've taken to looking for that every time on this particular coin let's um, drop them down a little bit and you'll see that it's not very easy to see now that you know it's there you can see it but in a regular coin if you just pull this out of your pocket without any comparison you probably would miss that you know five or six or nine times out of ten you just wouldn't see the doubling there but when you get it and you blow it up a little bit and then you compare it to some of the other coins uh, especially you like to compare it to one from the same exact year just to make sure that nothing else has changed and you'll see clearly see the doubling here okay how, how many did they make well this coin does not have a mint mark on it as you can see if it had a mint mark it'd be right in here right underneath his neck because it doesn't have a mint mark we know that it was made at the Philadelphia mint now there were a few years where they didn't have mint marks on these coins but these this is not 
um, uh, well, they didn't have mint marks on this coin. This is one of those years. I don't know what I'm thinking here. This is There's no P here, but it was made at the Philadelphia Mint. There are some other coins, that's what I was thinking, like the nickel, which in the 60s didn't have any mint marks on it at all, and it wasn't made at Philadelphia either in, say, 1969. This particular coin was made at Philadelphia, but it does not have the P because the P was not being used in 1977. The Philadelphia mint mark did not come on these particular coins until the year 1980. So a couple years later, they started putting a P under here. At this point in time, there were uh, Denver mint dimes, and there was a, would be a D under there. And there were also proof sets made at the San Francisco mint with an S. This, it clearly isn't a proof set. I mean, it clearly is not a proof coin. And those ones will have an S on them. But in 77, they were proof only. They made 3.25 million S or San Francisco's and they'll all be valuable, and they'll all generally be in proof sets or in spe special envelopes. At the Denver Mint, they made $377 million. So this was the big seller, the 1977. 797 million made. Uh, a few mistakes were made, as you can see here, including this doubled rim from this particular 1977 coin. All right, have a great day. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our DC Coin World International Coin channel. And if you have any comments, we'd love to have you leave them in the comment section.